Hi, thanks for joining us again today. We're going to talk about how to motivate yourself. Is that really possible? And what if it was? What if you could motivate yourself to do anything that you wanted to do? How would that change your life? Everything we do in life, we do for a reason. But have you ever experienced a situation where there is something that you want to do or you feel like you need to get done in your life, but for some reason, it just never happens? You procrastinate, put it off, never find time, but it just never happens? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how do we motivate ourselves? How can we create the motivation or the desire to accomplish the things that we really do want to accomplish in our life. I want to share with you an experience that I had over the past couple of weeks where I have learned this lesson that I will use as I go forward in my life to find the motivation that I need to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish in my life. For about the past two years, I have had a goal to create policy and procedures for a program as part of our school. So it's for an outpatient, intensive outpatient license and a day treatment license. This started back in 2016. I was looking back uh, last night through my goals journal and it was in 2016 that I had started putting as a goal to write policy and procedures for our intensive outpatient and day treatment program. Here it is, 2018. And those policy and procedures have not been written until this past week. Well, why is that? Why is it that I could never seem to find the time or the energy in order to get that done and accomplished? because it's something that is important to me. It's something that I really wanted to do. And it is something that would have benefited our business and benefited lots of other people. Would have benefited our employees. It would have benefited uh, the students that we work with. And yet, I continued to put it off and put it off. Well, two weeks ago, in a group mentoring uh, meeting that I was in, we were asked to identify a goal, something that was important for us to achieve and to set a time frame of when we would have that accomplished by. So I decided to use this opportunity to get this goal accomplished that has been sitting out there for a long time. So two and a half weeks ago, I set a goal that I would have the policy and procedures written for the intensive outpatient program and the day treatment program and have those all ready to submit to the state for licensure. So the next part is to create a consequence for if I didn't accomplish that goal. And for me at the time it was, what is it that would be painful enough for me that would motivate me to do whatever it took to get the policy and procedures written. Now I knew that I could get it done, but it just seems like there were always other things that would come up, crises, things that had to be taken care of right then in the moment, and those things always seemed to take precedence over uh, getting the policy and procedure written. Well, what I came up with as my consequence of if I didn't accomplish this goal, was that until I got, so if I didn't have them written by the date, which was yesterday, if I didn't have them completed by that date, the consequence would be I could not step back onto the grounds of Recreation Retreat, a residential treatment center. I could not go there. I could not do groups with uh, the girls at our school. I could not do individual therapy. I would have to stay away from the school until I had the policy and procedures completed. Now for me, that it would be a huge sacrifice because that's my sole purpose. That's what I love doing. I love being at the school. I love teaching and sharing. Here's the interesting thing. So 
I did get the policy and procedures written. I ended up not getting them completed until they had to be done by Wednesday. I had them finalized on the Monday before. So I had about two weeks to get them all done. I ended up getting them done just before the deadline, but I did get them completed. Now here's the interesting thing that I learned from this is when I looked at the amount of time that it took me to actually get the policy and procedures written and completed, it was about 12 hours. Think about that. For two years, I've been having this goal of getting the policy and procedures completed and I haven't gotten it done. And yet it took me about 12 hours to get it completed. Now, could have I found the time in two years to get that completed? For sure. Well, what does that mean about me and in my life and the things that I don't accomplish? Because I keep putting them off. I find reasons for not getting it done. And what about you in your life? What are some of the things that you've been wanting to do or accomplish maybe for years and you haven't done it? What is it that's keeping you from accomplishing that? What I learned about me is that when there are things that are kind of scary to me, so I don't know what the outcome is going to be, then I tend to put it off. I want to avoid what I'm afraid the negative outcome may be. Well, one thing that I learned a long time ago is that if I will stay focused on what I want instead of what I don't want, then I'll stay motivated to take the action, to do what I need to do, to achieve what I want. When I focus on what I don't want, that's when I delay, I procrastinate, and I put things off. Well, the tool that I learned from this experience, so the tool that I learned from this experience is that sometimes we need to find other ways to motivate us. Sometimes the desire for what we want isn't strong enough or the fear keeps coming up and getting in the way. So if we can create an outcome, this is a way to use fear as a short-term motivator in order to accomplish what you want. So in my case, by, by putting a boundary in place that says, unless I get this done, then this is what the consequence is going to be it created enough pressure on me to take the steps to do what I need to do. So I would encourage you again to look in your own life if there are things that uh, you want to accomplish, want to get done that you haven't done, I would encourage you to set a boundary with yourself, to set a negative consequence and to say, if I don't get this completed by this date, set a date, then this is the consequence. This is what I will do, or this is what I won't be able to do. In this group, it was interesting, there were about eight of us, and every one of us completed the goal that we had set out by putting in place a negative outcome of which we didn't. I know that this process or this tool works, so I encourage you to give it a try and see how much more you can accomplish in your own life. Thanks for joining us today. I encourage you to, to use what we talked about. Try it out in your life and see if it won't make a difference for you. And then share it with others. Let's change the world.